the streets a little bit and see what we can find. Well, it's not one of the great ones, but it is a light housing. And it is a good color and it's a paper that I don't want. Oh, still got one light bulb. like the other one is and week what I can because next week um if I guys back in overtime big time I'm pretty sure that that's brass let's get the oh of course the magnets on the other side that little chain is steel let's throw this in the back then I saw this from a distance and thought, hey, and then I got up close and it's like, nay, and I saw this. Oh, what the, okay. What the heck is that? Because that, it looks like, oh, it's a uh, pretty good size shepherd's hook is what it is. But yeah, come on. Come on, baby. Of course, it is very deep underneath all that stuff. There we go. Can there be something that is mightier than steel? <laughs> yeah, an Amazon label. There we go. But I saw this too. There's something else in there. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna dump this oh, and come back. all one piece. There's all one piece, isn't it? This oh no, it's not. Okay, let's get this out of here. There, that'll hold that other stuff out of the way. Look at that. Um, I might go and uh, grab some stuff out of the storage unit. Here, let's take that over. Add to this and just run to the scrap yard. Because I got the... Uh, I still got that one seat that I had with the uh, Saturn that I took out. No, this can't be. Yeah, that's steel. That's steel. Um, that I could throw in here. And I got that bucket of heavy, thick wrenches that Gene, the scrapyard machine, told me goes to the sheet pile, doesn't go to his uh, tool steel. So, I gotta take that in. Okay. Take that in and get some. Okay. Oh, I gotta clean all that up now. Damn it. Okay. Stupid. That was just stupid. <laughs> Try that again. Come on. Oh, Come on, baby. There we go. Just want it as flat as possible. Alright, I'm done digging around in here. I don't want to cause any more trouble with the trash. Alright, 
Yeah, go ahead, tell me. You missed something. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I might do. And then I might drop the tailgate, take apart a uh, microwave, that old timey one that I've got, and then uh, throw the carcass on and load it up with some stuff. All right, folks, change of plans. Well, sort of. I may still have to go to the storage unit, but after I get home from the street run, a little bit I found. I got a call from uh, Steve at the church for a scrap pickup. So we're gonna go do that first. Depending on what I get, probably still gonna go to the storage unit and add to it. So let's go get it. Perfect fit. Fashion screwdrivers with the wood handles. Okay. There's a couple of them in here. Appreciate it, Steve. Thank you, sir. I'll be talking to you again, okay? All right, thank you so much. Right. No, I did not ride over here with those underneath the windshield wiper. Uh, the only thing I really want to go through is uh, that box right there because Steve and I cleared out his uh, one barrel that he saves and we put all the uh, tool stuff in here, here, and here and I threw some stuff up in here, but that box I've not gone through, so let's, uh, let's get a look at it real quick here. It looks like a bunch of, a whole bunch of little bits of steel and stuff here and there. So I put a bunch of, I think, screws and junk in this. Yeah, so.
what I want to, all right, what I need is my magnet so I can SS. are staying here to be stripped <laughs> along with I think I got some in here too yep it's all getting stripped oh man I got so much stuff I gotta do um, yeah so all right what do we get here yep that's all steel stuff That is not steel. That's probably brass. I hate all this garbage, but when you're getting this kind of stuff from one spot and you don't have to drive around to pick it up, it's just right there. I wonder if these are it. Come on. Have to be ground down or to take a look. brass but of course this will all have to be uh, scraped or, or ground to see that's a chisel I'm keeping crack open uh, crack open some transformers with that maybe all these tools in here if I keep all these, I mean, I just, I got, I got so many screwdrivers right now as it is, sitting right inside the garage, the art of storage unit there. I hope. Hey, is this copper? That is copper. Look at this. I mean, it's not much, but... Probably a quarter pound. That's pretty neat. Maybe I'll find some more of that. like copper to me it's not it's not steel might just be brass that green on there it's probably brass I, I just touched them just like this one I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that. 
call that searched. And we're gonna get one more thing in the back here. Um, you know what? I want to keep these tins. Why do I want to keep these tins? Right here. I'm just going to throw all this stuff in here, even the copper and even that stuff that I don't know what it is, to be gone through at another time. I'm pretty sure this stuff is just aluminum. I don't know. But I want to keep that. He's going there. Um, this. by me in here. I doubt it. I mean I see something that might be a little bit a tiny bit of brass. That might be something right there. Or I see rust on it though. Yep. Time to deglove if I can. That's brass. That's paper. <laughs> I don't know if you can see what the heck I'm doing here. But... Yeah, I really wish I had longer to spend with this stuff, but I got to work tonight. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I had not planned on Anything today other than a street run. There's some more, maybe. And I'm terrible at keeping track of time. So Check later. Yeah, I really don't like that cardboard box on the side over here, folks. That's, whoa, geez. I don't really like that. So, but since I got a whole bunch of mess over here, anyways, already. Add to it and just... <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. There we go. <laughs> Mailman or male person or male woman. Okay, what I wanted to take was this bucket right here. If I can. Yeah, come on, baby. Yeah, because I talked to. Uh, Gene, the scrapyard machine, he said this stuff's all just shred steel. So, that's good enough. It was found junk anyways. Let's get rid of it. Because now, that this baby's running in prime tip-top shape, let me tell you what happened. It killed on me, wouldn't start, so I had to stick some money into it. I bought my new locking gas cap because I don't have a door. And I uh, got a new starter put on it. God, I got so much. Look at all this copper. Look at this. 
that brass, copper, I got copper over there, copper here, just, I got stuff to do. Um, so I got a new starter put in it. Well, when they did that, they said, well, obviously you need a new exhaust. Indeed, I knew, I knew I would when I bought it, which is fine. I don't mind that. But because I have that temporary plate right there, that is good through the 20th. I don't know if you can see it, the 20th of November of this year. That means I have till probably a couple weeks prior to that to send in the old title and the paperwork to get my new plates and tags, which means when I get those, then I've got 30 days after that to run it through vehicle emissions. So what does that mean? Well, I've got that much time between now and then, the two weeks prior to that, so we'll just say uh, the 1st of November. So I got all of uh, September and October to scrap and put money away to get an exhaust system put on here. But they also said, and I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of skeptical about this. They said that <clears throat> my lower ball joints are bad and the tie rods are bad. But I've driven cars with bad tie rods and bad ball joints before. I can drive this down the road, let go of the steering wheel, and this thing flies straight as an arrow. No shimmies, no waving to one side or the other. And if anybody is a, you know, somewhat of a backyard mechanic or standby, or has had experience riding in a vehicle with bad ball joints, then you know your vehicle doesn't go straight. It just doesn't happen. It shimmies at certain speeds really bad. And if your uh, tie rod is bad, you can have your hand right here steady. And the car will start going like this back and forth on the road. That doesn't happen with this at all. So, see that? It starts right up. No more gear shift. They fixed this. They put a new starter on it. Fixed the linkage for the, the uh, see how, remember how loose this was? Look how tight that is now. All right. So, um, I might get a second opinion on that stuff. Let's see if they're bullying me. All right, let's go to the scrapyard. Oh, guess what I did? I thought I filmed the whole thing, I didn't. So, when I weighed in, it was 38.20. Right now we got 34.60, so 8, 5, 3, 40, 360 pounds. I'm so sorry about that. All right. Let's go get some of this. Two Jacksons. 20, 40 beans. 40 beans. Let's go home. I'm tired. All right. I gotta work tonight, but I'm off tomorrow and the day after. I plan on getting a lot done. Like I said, in the morning I have to go pick up that, uh, those three, three, three trampoline skeletons from Jesse. I don't know if I can fit it all at one time. I'm sure gonna give it the old fat guy try <laughs> all right and then I want to get on that non ferrous stuff at the storage unit now on the way here I spotted something if it's still there I'm gonna pick it up let's go see if it's still there so what I spotted on the way to the scrapyard was sitting out here and it's not here anymore, so I want to look in here and see if maybe it got thrown in here. No, it wasn't that TV. 
Oh man, this stinks, folks. Shoot, I think I missed it. Pretty sure I missed it. Indeed. Somebody else got the jump on me. Well, I had the room to pick it up, but I didn't. And maybe I should have. It was a stainless steel sink. Some brassies on it. But it's gone. Oh well. I got plenty of those still in the garage. <laughs> so, I got those to tear apart yet. Oh good. <clears throat> Alright, well. You win some, you lose some. I could have picked it up. I had the room for it. But I wasn't going to pick it up, drive all the way back out to Sturdivant to drop it off because it's just it's a lot of waste of time. And I don't have the room in the garage, which is <laughs> the garage, believe it or not. It's right over there. There's the light door. The next one down is mine. But I just, I have no space in there whatsoever. I'm right up to the door. If you don't believe me, you'll be seeing that soon enough. All right? Well, folks, thank you for watching. I really, really do appreciate it so much. Hope you had a good time. I was a little quiet on the street run. Boy, I need an exhaust system. <laughs> My love to all, everybody. We need all that we can get. Here, check this out. I don't know if you remember me telling you. From where I just turned, I'll take you up there and show you. I don't believe it myself, but where I turned onto this street, to right here at this intersection, to right here, it's gonna take them damn near three months to repair. How? I don't get it. Three months. For that little itty bitty section of road, That means I gotta park over here and walk to my apartment. Which I can use the exercise. It's no big deal, but what a pain in the ass. Pardon my French. Swear jar. So until next time, everybody, everywhere, have a wonderful, wonderful day.